and welcome back to the second channel. Guys, we're back at it again. I have now got a bed. Thankfully, I bought a new one. Look at this. Solid bed. However, there is some bad news. As you saw in the last video, I did a public vote to see whether or not I should have to do the forfeit. Since I literally got robbed, they took everything. And yes, you guys voted I should do it. 79% of you. As you can see, I was in the 21% that said, no, of course not. It's not your fault. However, there's other 79% of you disagreed. <sighs> Come on, guys. Why are you doing me like this? All right, you know what, guys? I will be doing it. I'm not doing this video, and I'm not going to do it in next week's video either, but I'm going to do it as a YouTube short, okay? I've got from this main channel video with this random TV right here, and then I'll do it, okay? I promise you, you have my word. I will do it. But on today's video, guys, we're going to be doing something very exciting. Hopefully, this will be the start of a new series on this channel. As you guys know, I love only two things in life trolling and catfishing. And as you guys have seen, I do it on Facebook a lot. However, today, we're doing a new thing. And we're targeting Twitter. And by my t-shirt, as you can see, we're gonna be starting with Olivia Rodrigo. Now, why Olivia Rodrigo? Well, first off, I am a fan. As you can see, I've got a t-shirt. And also on Twitter last week, I saw some drama between Olivia Rodrigo's fans. So basically, Olivia Rodrigo released this shot glass for her 21st birthday. However, this caused some outrage in the community. Promoting drinking to a primarily underage audience? I stan her, but this isn't okay. So yeah, basically people got triggered that Olivia Rodrigo was selling a shot glass because apparently they don't like alcohol. Which is fair enough, you don't have to like alcohol. But a shot glass isn't specifically just for alcohol. You can put anything in it. You could shot pickle juice if you want. And there was replies like this. I'm 17, brackets, minor. And very scared, WTF. What are you scared of? <laughs> You're scared that Olivia Rodrigo has released a shot glass. Honestly, what a nightmare. The original person that tweeted it then replied, you're valid for pointing this out, and it doesn't make you any less of a Livy. I think that's an Olivia Rodrigo fan, a Livy. So today I'm gonna become a Livy. Right now on my Taylor Swift and Pedro Pascal fan account. It's from my fake rumors series where I was trying to spread rumors. This is the account I used, and this actually used to be the Harry Styles Hue account, which is actually the account I spread the fake paparazzi pictures on. However, today Swifty Pascal is no more. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend to be an older fan of Olivia Rodrigo, which is my alter ego, Georgia Mason. However, apparently Olivia Rodrigo's mum's been taken. Oh, it's not taken, it's just too long. Right, let's go for maybe Mother Rodrigo, that's taken. Mama Rodrigo, taken. Mum Rodrigo, <gasps> that's not taken. Okay, there we go. All right, and with that, we're updated. We're now Mum Rodrigo. We're just gonna change the name. We're no longer gonna be Anna Loves Pedro. We're now gonna be Olivia Rodrigo's oldest fan. And by that, I don't mean I've been following her for the longest. I just mean literally I'm the oldest. I'm pretending to be a Karen here, all right? Let's change the bio. 56 years young. I love Olivia so much. She's like the daughter I never had. Saw her live six times already and got tickets to see her three times in 2024. Two. There we go. We're proving to everyone we're a real Olivia Rodrigo fan. And look at that. Here we are. Georgia Mason is on Twitter as Olivia Rodrigo's oldest fan. I did go through earlier and retweeted loads of Olivia Rodrigo tweets, so I do look like an Olivia Rodrigo fan. And now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to cause some drama. The goal of this isn't exactly to troll Olivia Rodrigo fans. It's more to just act like a Karen and just make everyone laugh at me. Yeah, first off, I need to sign some recent Olivia Rodrigo tweets. So let's see what's going on. If we just search Olivia Rodrigo. All right, so here we got a post. Olivia Rodrigo Daily, eight minutes ago. And it says, Olivia via Instagram stories. So Olivia Rodrigo's posted some Instagram stories. I guess she had a show yesterday in Orlando. And it's just stuff she posted on her story. All right, how can I make a problem out of this? So here we've got Olivia Rodrigo just in her clothes. She's lip syncing into her song and then she changes into a show outfit. There's not much I could really be mad about that. All right, I'm gonna respond to that. I'm gonna quote retweet it. OMG at that second video, dot, dot, dot. I love her so much, but that's not okay to kiss the camera. Right, why is it not okay to kiss the camera? Um, she needs to think of all the people who were at that show in loving relationships. She's basically just made them cheat on their partner. At Olivia Rodrigo, please apologize. I want an apology, all right? All right, and with that post, our first post is out there. The difference between Twitter and Facebook, I'm not sure how many people are gonna see this because I've literally just posted it out there on Twitter for anyone to see. Whereas with Facebook, I'm putting them in more specific groups. So we may need to start tagging some people. In fact, maybe I'll just start replying to some people. Oh, we got two notifications. Anyone? Oh, we did. We just got a reaction to our tweet. Okay, I'm guessing this is actually one of you guys, which is what makes this more interesting. Basically, a lot of you guys from the Harry Styles video or from the Fake Rumors video went over and followed this account. This could be one of you guys. It also couldn't be. But I don't know if they know that this is a prank. Oh no, they do know. Looking very familiar. You're looking like someone I know called Georgia with a son named George. George? 
My son's called Jeremy. Oh no, guys, this is what you don't do. You don't expose me. You need to help me spread this drama. Right, I'm actually gonna DM this person. Don't expose me. Help me troll Olivia. Rodrigo fans. Guys, I need all the help we can get. All we've got is this one person. They said, yes, no problem, we'll help you. Whatever you need. Casey, thank you. You may be the key in this video to trolling the Olivia Rodrigo fans. Yeah, whilst they do that, let's try find some more tweets. Right, here we've got a video of Olivia Rodrigo trying a cookie. Right, so it's just her lip syncing, eating a cookie. And then at the end, she says, Zero out of 10. One bread. Zero out of 10. This was only tweeted a minute ago. This is a great time for Georgia to respond. Let's post a reply. I'm sorry, but that's so disrespectful to the chef who made that cookie to say zero out of 10. Dot, dot, dot. I hope she'll make a public apology soon. And then I'm just gonna put an X at the end. Guys, it's the way of the Karen. You've always got to do it. Right, has anything else gone on? Has Casey tagged? Yes, they have. They've tagged some Olivia Rodrigo fans on my tweet. Right, let's see if we get any replies from that. In the meantime, let's try to find some other tweets. We've got a notification. Oh, the one about me saying about the baker that made it. <laughs> she needs to make a public apology to them. And this person just replied with a skull emoji. Right, I just need to reply like an actual Karen that doesn't know what's going on. Why did you send a skull? Are you calling me old? Here we go, guys. This is where the drama begins. Right, we have got a notification. What's going on here? Oh, it's another reply to my tweet about the baker. This person said, that's the audio guy's fault, not Olivia. She still chose to use it. Dot, dot, dot. What's the audio guy's name? I will report. And as always, we'll give him an X. Right, here we've got a tweet. You have one ticket. Whose concert are you going to? And we've got Sabrina Carpenter, Olivia Rodrigo, Tate McRae, and Madison Beer. I would have to pick Sabrina. This has already got a reply. Oh my gosh. Someone replied, why? She freaking sucks and her songs flop. Damn, this person's a bigger hater than me. Wait, actually, maybe I'll reply to this person. This person seems to have a lot of hatred in them. Do not swear. That is so rude. Do not disrespect Olivia Rodrigo like that ever again. He's literally not disrespecting Olivia Rodrigo. He's disrespecting Sabrina Carpenter. But George is a boomer, guys. She doesn't understand Twitter. She doesn't understand the internet. She's a confused woman. Right, here we got someone, Sabrina. I never saw her live before and she is one person I would love to see. <laughs> Let me just reply. Wrong answer. Olivia is the only correct option. We got someone else, Sabrina. No questions asked. You spelt Olivia wrong. Oh, I also spelt spelt wrong. <laughs> you know what? That's actually quite a funny thing to spell spelt wrong. I'm literally spell correcting her whilst also spelling spelt wrong. Someone else said, Madison, I've already seen Olivia a week ago. Well, you should see her again then. All right, let's see what else is going on. Oh, we got the cookie tweet again. All right, what do the replies say? Someone said, she said zero out of 10. I think they're laughing because she called the cookie a zero out of 10. I'm just gonna reply, what's so funny? Question mark. Think about how the poor baker must feel after Olivia called his food zero out of 10. You're being so disrespectful to his work and not validating how he feels. Shame on you. Someone else replied to that TikTok by saying, I'm crying, OMG. Please don't cry. I know she was rude to the baker, but I'm sure she will make an Apology soon. I'm really trying to make this a bigger problem than it is. We've got a reply. Oh, it's from Willow. Who's Willow? Oh, she's the person that said, and I replied with this whole paragraph ending with shame on you. And they just replied with womp womp. What does this mean? Womp womp, womp womp. Used to comment on something bad or disappointing that has happened or is happening, usually in a humorous way. Don't you dare womp womp. Me. Have some respect for your elders. How dare she womp womp Georgia? Oh, we got a notification. What's this? What's happened? <gasps> she womp womp me again! Wait, I need some backup on this. Wait, I'm gonna DM this tweet to Casey. Please tell her she's being rude. <laughs> me and Casey are gonna team up on her. She can't womp womp Georgia! Oh, we got two notifications. Oh, it was my first reply to the person that womp womp me. To me saying, what's funny and shame on you. Someone replied by saying, girl, it's an audio. She said it was good in the caption. Calm down. Calm down? Calm down. down! Who does she think she is telling Georgia to calm down? I'm just gonna say, don't you dare tell me to calm down. Her picture of Sabrina Carpenter, I think it is. So I'm gonna say, you're not even a Livy Rodrigo fan. You're not even a Livy. Sabrina Carpenter sucks. <laughs> 
Guys, by the way, I don't think Sabrina Carpenter sucks. I actually like her, but Georgia doesn't, all right? Georgia thinks she sucks. And then we're gonna give her an X at the end as well. Oh, we got some notifications. Oh, Casey came in our defense. You're being very rude now, dot, dot, dot. Hey, Casey knows about the dot, dot, dot. I think you should stop. You're going too far, dot, dot. Thank you, Casey. Oh my gosh, she won't want us again. I'm just gonna say, delete these tweets now. I have friends who are very high up in Twitter and I'll get your account banned in the next 24 hours. This is your last warning. You just know she's gonna reply once again with another womp womp. Oh, we got another reply. Oh, this is the person that sent the skull. And I said, why did you send a skull? Are you calling me old? And they just sent a gif of a grandma and some wind. What does this even mean? I'm confused, guys. I know I'm not Gen Alpha, but what does this mean? I'm just gonna reply by saying, excuse me? Can you type or is your Gen Alpha brain too mushed up? from all the TikTok you watch. Stop sending emojis and use words, you imbecile. Oh, I love calling people imbeciles. It just feels good. Guys, you don't call Georgia a grandma, right? She's a mother. She's a mother to Jeremy. Jeremy doesn't have any kids. His only kid is his Tesla. Oh, we actually got another reply on my tweet about she should make a public apology to the baker. Someone replied saying, as a Livy, I'm livid. They're actually agreeing with me. I think they are being sarcastic, but you know what? I'm taking all the support I can get. Thank you for validating my feelings. I'm glad I'm not the only one hurt by Olivia's careless actions. And we'll give them an X. Right, you know what guys, I give up. I can't troll the Olivia Rodrigo fans. They're not bothered. I'm trying my best. We've even tried the Sabrina Carpenter fans, but all we've got are Sabrina Carpenter gifts and womp womps. Guys, this is why I need your help, all right? Go over to Twitter right now and follow me, at Mum Rodrigo. I wanna do a part two to this. However, we're not gonna go for Olivia Rodrigo fans again. We're gonna go for a new fandom. Comment down below what fandom you want me to go for, whether that's Taylor Swift, Harry Styles. I will change that out once we do that, because obviously I'm not gonna be a Olivia Rodrigo fan anymore when we're trolling a different fandom. So make sure you follow me before I do. Yeah, guys, on that note, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought down below. This has been Olivia Rodrigo's oldest fan, Georgia Mason, over and out. Boom.